There's still a lot of confusion as to whether or not people with symptoms should get tested and even if they can. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton has those clarifications. I've been sick for a month. I spoke to Stacy and Mark Anthis on FaceTime. They've quarantined themselves in their Lakeland house. Now, Stacy says she and her husband were first told that they had the flu, then a common cold. Well, now they're afraid that it's the coronavirus. The question they ask, are you coughing, running a fever? That's, you know, difficulty breathing. Hello? Yes, we are. And they say their symptoms started after their cruise in February. They won't test me. Thousands across the state and even the country are in the same situation. Stacy says she's really worried about her husband because he's high risk. With his health conditions, he's a heart patient, he's a diabetic, he's got kidney failure. I mean, and I feel like nobody is taking this serious. And the CDC says just having the symptoms isn't enough to warrant a test. You have to have traveled to a high-risk country in the last 14 days or have been around someone with the virus. Google is working on a new screening website. President Donald Trump says it should make the process much easier. They've rolled that site out in California. No word yet on when it'll be available for the rest of the country. J.J. Burton, ABC, Action News.